Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy and Amanda is behind the camera. Today we are looking at a Palomino Puma destination trailer, model number 39FKL. Let's take a look. The length on this destination is 42 feet 1 inch. The dry weight is 10,455 pounds and that hitch weight is 1,540. Well, let's start right here. When you come into this gorgeous destination trailer, you're gonna have nice, large glass sliding doors. This is a front kitchen model, so we'll just go ahead and come around to the kitchen. You'll see that they give you a nice, large residential fridge. Yes. They also give you a larger, oh yes, there is storage up above. Like a shelf up here, yeah. Uh, a larger microwave mm -hmm. with your vent hood, Ooh. a nice large residential uh, four burner stove. Oh, I had the lock on. Sorry, there we go. With a large oven. Mm -hmm. We have been told that these are actually big enough to bake a turkey if you want to cook a turkey in one. You have some nice cabinets right up here. I like the backsplash they give you. Yep. You have solid surface countertops. Oh my goodness. A nice large stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet. They give you three uh, really gorgeous windows right here. You're going to have an awesome view. They will open for some ventilation if you need it. Down here below, you have lots of storage. You have a bank. There's actually four drawers mm -hmm. down here. Four. Storage there. You have a little cubby area right under your sink, as well as some nice deep shelving. And a little bit of shelving right over here. And I love the little accent lights under the counter. Yes. Coming right on around into your breakfast nook, you will see that it gives you a freestanding table and chairs. Um, now this trailer is still in travel mode, so everything is strapped down but you have plenty of seating for four adults. Nice windows around it. You have a pantry area right here. And these are very deep shelves. There we go. Okay, nice. you're going to have a bar area. And again, a, um, this is in travel mode because it's coming in. So here's your bar stools and they will go right up here under your bar. Let's come into the living room and you'll see that your recliners are turned around and they are strapped in, but those will just unstrap and turn around. Over here you have a very nice trifold sofa that will um, make some additional sleeping area. You've got storage up above that. And I'm going to come around and show you the other side of your living area. You have another trifold sofa with even more storage up above it. And windows. Lots of windows in here. Here is your uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. You'll see that this does have a fan in here for some circulation. Your entertainment center. Now, when you turn your recliners around, you're gonna be facing your entertainment center your TV is going to mount right up here. This has a nice large area, so I believe you could probably easily get a 60 inch At there. At least. And here's your sound bar. You have a very nice electric fireplace here for some heat. And there's even a cubby below. If you wanted to kick your shoes off, you could just store them right down there. Coming down the hall, I love this large window that they give you. And it does also open. Here is your bathroom. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have a nice um, corner shower. Jeremy's about six feet tall, so you'll see that he has more than enough hidden room in there. Your linen closet's here to your side. I love that they give you a hook for a towel or bathroom, anything you need to hang up. Your foot flush toilet is right here and it's on an angle, so you have plenty of leg room for tall people. Your medicine cabinet right up above. You have a motion activated nightlight. You do have uh, some plug-ins here. 
nice large sink, and there is just a little bit of storage down below. All right, I'm gonna back up so, so we can go down the hall into the master bedroom. This destination trailer is gonna give you a king size bed. We don't have the exact dimensions on it, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a 70 by 80. Right up above, you have some storage up above. And they do give you some shelves right here in the corner on both sides. You can store your phone or your glasses or anything like that. You do have storage underneath. We just want to make note that this is a screen door. This will be mounted on your uh, sliding doors when you take uh, delivery of this. Right across here is going to be your wardrobe area nice large hanging area that goes all the way across and it does have a shelf right up above Ooh. here is your second AC unit this is gonna be a 13.5 BTU mm -hmm. right here at the end of your bed is a um, nice dresser with three drawers mm -hmm. you do have a second entry which is very convenient your TV backer right up here above your window and here's all your TV connections. And again, since this is a destination trailer, this one does already have your stackable washer and dryer. Again, if you don't need this, it can be removed and you can have a nice large closet. Mm. Wow. Okay, this, this is a very pretty unit. All right, folks, let's go outside and just kind of take a little look around. Well, taking a look on the outside of this Puma Destination trailer, you will see that it does look a little different than most campers um, because it is set up to be a destination trailer and not necessarily for travel. But you do have your propane bottles that will mount right here. If you choose to put batteries, they will go right down here and you do have a battery disconnect. This unit is going to have manual stabilizer jacks and I will back up so you can see the side and we will come around and take a look at the campsite you do have a nice large power awning there here is your glass sliding doors and right back here is your second entry. Okay, we hope you come take a look at this. It's a gorgeous trailer. All right, everybody. If you like this Palomino uh, destination trailer, the dealership's information will be down in the description below. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe and follow along with us. Thanks, everybody.